Hey, what is up guys? Wicked95 here, back with another video. And continuing with the uh, set here for the Wrestlemania series. Uh, we have Edge. Uh, I did a review unboxing of the Goldberg. Uh, if you guys didn't check that out, go check that out. Um, but like I said on that video, um, after I review all four figures in the last video, I will put together the uh, Builder figure, Paul Ellering. El El uh, with Roku. But, um... I said I was going to do the whole uh, review and unboxing of all of them first. So, let's get to that. Today we have this Edge figure. Uh, long ago weighted Edge because uh, it's the WrestleMania Edge. The one, I think the one where he fought Mick Foley in that like hardcore match. Street fight match at WrestleMania. Um, and uh, when I saw the mock pictures of this. Or uh, the early stages of the, of the uh, figure. I'm like, dude, that's a figure that I need to get for sure. Uh, but when they when they said it was going to be part of the whole set, I was like, I might as well pick up the whole thing. And since I already did a whole set unboxing of the other WrestleMania series, but uh, Mick Foley, um, Kofi Kingston, Matt Hardy, and uh, Booker T, and put together the uh, Paul, um, the figure Danny Davis, I'm like, I have to do the next one, so... I'm going to try to continue the tradition and, and uh, whenever they release more build of figures I will definitely pick up the whole set. But anyways, uh, let's get into this unboxing here. Um, this Edge comes with a lot of stuff too. Uh, Goldberg came with the Universal Interchangeable Hands and uh, Paul El Ellering's head. Now here you get uh, the Interchangeable Hands which are iconic to Edge. Uh, for the, his entrance and then you have a baseball bat which is pretty cool baseball bat for edge there and then uh you get the interchangeable head for paul ellenworth Aaron ellen ring sorry and the torso i believe um you get edge there on the side the camera was facing down um you get Edge on the side there, and then um, Edge uh, head there on the on the other side. Same picture that you get on the front, and then you have Edge here on the back from that WrestleMania match, which uh, the vest is uh, pretty sick, and we get it here, which I'm excited about. And then you get all his stats and everything there. <clears throat> Others in the line: Goldberg, Shawn Michaels, Edge, and China. I know the next one should have been Shawn Michaels, but I don't know why it didn't go in order. <laughs> Uh, but like I said, oh, you get the torso, and then you get the interchangeable head there for Paul Ellering. Um, yeah, so let's get into this uh, unboxing straight away here. Uh, the box is a little bit damaged, as I can see from, where was it, where I saw it. Oh, from the bottom parts here, it's kind of dented in. I don't know if the camera can pick that up a little bit. And then here is uh, some damage on the side as well. Edge, then you get another cool backdrop. I have my chair here for my accessories. Let's uh, start with the hands. Which, uh, we already got these with the three and one edge edge heads, but these have wrist tape, which is sweet. This is this is cool. I think the other ones don't have it. No. They don't have wrist tape. Um, where are they? I can't see them. I don't know where they're at. I don't know where I have them all in my my uh, little box of hands. But I'll find them later. But uh, here you get the interchangeable head for Paul. And then here's the other head that we got with the Goldberg. This is the older one. This is the younger one. I'll put, I'll put it there. And you get his suit. His suit jacket. And then you get the the interchangeable. Um, and then you get the, you get the, uh, the torso. Get the torso there. Now let's... Uh, Let's go with the edge. So we 
get this cool baseball bat. Let me stand up my tripod a little bit better. Sorry, I zoomed, I zoomed in by accident. Um, there you go. You get cool wooden uh, baseball bat. It's kind of tilted to the side. <laughs> As you can tell, but definitely going to be adding this to my weapons um, box for sure. Alright, sweet. Pretty cool edge there. Um, now, uh, a lot of people have been hating on the head scan. Uh, I really didn't really hate on it, but I just think they could have done a little bit better. I know it if you put it on some angle you can tell it's kind of you can tell edge you can tell his uh, resemblance but as you see it straight up it doesn't really look like edge um i like the paint detail on the head um hair there way better um i think mattel is improving on the uh hair there for uh, all the action figures um but let's uh let's go with the with the um, accessories first. Here you go. Fix this. You get the classic edge entrance hands, which uh, like I said earlier, these have wrist tape compared to the three in one edge that we got. They don't have wrist tape. Um, so I'll definitely be using these instead. I might even put them on the 3-on-1 uh, edge. To be honest. Um, <clears throat> then you got uh, the baseball bat here. Wooden baseball bat. Pretty good detailing on it. Pretty sick. It's a little bit uh, curved like I said. But doesn't really matter. Be hitting... You'll be hitting your action figures with that either way, so why need it straight, right? Um, and then, of course, you got the torso here for Paul and the uh, interchangeable head for an older look. Now, let's get into the Edge unboxing. I mean, the Edge review here. You have the Rated R Superstar himself. Uh, you get this cool vest, which I was pretty excited to get. Um, it's a uh, pretty pretty dead on edge there on this on the side of there and then uh, some detailing from the pockets there uh, rated R superstar on the back big star um, it looks like it's like but some studs ripped uh, look there on the uh, sleeves because it's sleeveless and then you have the classic uh, edge um, tattoo and then you can tell where the other tattoos are because of the wrist tape but then you get cool knee pads wrist tape and then you have the cool camel pants and these are cool because now you have a molded on a molded on a belt which is pretty cool and then uh, long pants that we haven't gone in an edge before and then you have uh, some cool boots there for Edge. Um, now the articulation on it is going to be something that we're going to take a look at now. Um, oh, and then you get a Rated R logo there on the front, which is pretty cool. Uh, there you go. Rated our logo. I don't see any other logos on the pants, but the articulation on this one is surprisingly good. Even though he has the pants, uh, he's able to kick forward on both uh, legs, double jointed knees. Pretty good. I think I thought it was gonna be like a hard, uh, posable. Like it wasn't gonna be that posable, you know. Uh, rotation on both of his uh, thighs there. Uh, rotation on his uh, boots and then a little bit of ankle pivot 
Uh, his arms, let's see, his arms if they're able to open up. A little bit hard, but I think with the use, they'll uh, soften them up, soften up a little bit. Um, this arm is a little bit loose to rotate, but it's good. Um, and then, of course, you get the uh, interchangeable hands there. The head is not so much. I mean, he has the vest, so if we take it off, we might be able to rotate his um, whole head around. Let's see. Uh, yep, definitely. Uh, rotation there, 360. Wrist rotation as well. Almost took off his knee pad, uh, elbow pad. Um, sweet. Um, sick uh, figure for sure so far. Um, the app crunch is, is, is dead on really good. He can go all the way back and all the way forward, which is pretty good. This is my favorite figure so far. Honestly, this figure is... It's killing it uh, besides the head skin, but I mean, we can just do a custom, right? Here we have the uh, 3 in 1 Edge, which is uh, his uh, regular gear. He's uh, same height, well, a little bit as the same height, except this one. My torso doesn't move, and this one is a smaller torso comparison to that one right there. I also have this other Edge for comparison, as you can see, it's even tinier. The SummerSlam Edge. This one's taller for sure. But I think it's because of the boots. Uh, you get some big boots. But um, my app crunch is stuck. I can't app crunch them. Which kind of sucks for playability. You get the tattoos here. But you don't get them here. I think this is a... Uh, oh, he got these afterwards. <clears throat> but the hair is, uh, is definitely better on, on that one than on all of them. Uh, definitely be switching that one for this one for sure in my fig fed and like I said we got these type of hands on the 3 in 1 edge which I'm going to be using on that edge now um, I'm definitely be rocking that edge on that on my fig fed for sure now but um, I'm going to give this uh, edge a solid 9.5 the only reason is the head scan everything else perfect oh and you even get the rated R Superstar logo on that uh, wrist tape there. Other than that, I think this uh, figure is perfect. It's dead on. Absolutely love this figure. And then you get this cool uh, uh, sleeveless uh, shirt jacket thing. And you get a baseball bat plus those hands. I think if you want any of these, you should definitely get that edge for sure. But uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be up. Uh, be notified for when my next uploads come out make sure to hit the bell because i'll be doing uh other unboxings and review of the same set so be on the lookout for that so yeah i'll see you in the next one